friends welcome back if you are new welcome i'm nikki and we're shopping the ross 49 cent sale i usually miss this sale or if i do shop it i don't get lucky so i'm really excited to see if i find stuff thank you to laura for alerting me laura alerted me on instagram and sent me a bunch of stuff and i was like i didn't even i would have had no idea this is why i love this is one of the perks of social media, friends. So thank you, Laura. You're the best. We're gonna go, I'm probably gonna go to a couple Rosses in this video. Um, unless you, it's very busy. This parking lot is jam packed. So I'm in a really populated area, but I'm in a really nice area too. So let's see what we can find. I'm also coming here very late in the day. I think it started today and I'm getting here at like, one o'clock so we'll see let's go <laughs> my seatbelt on in case somebody tries to like jump me and I need to I'm just kidding that was very competitive that was almost as competitive if not more competitive than the bins that was crazy I have to I don't know if I told you guys this in the intro I don't shop this sale often and I haven't shopped it very often in the past let me give you some numbers I bought one two well doesn't it tell me oh, okay I got 12 items and I spent $16. Everything wasn't 49 cent. A couple things I got were 199, 149, uh, 49 cents, blah, blah, blah. So 12 items for, I'm trying, so I, spent, I got 13 items for $19, but I got one item that was a tea. They have this tea, you guys know I love tea. They have this tea that I really love that was three bucks. So I got 12 items for $16, is that what I said? Okay, yeah, I'm trying, I don't wanna include the tea because my receipt says 13 items for 19 bucks. That's not bad, friends. I kinda wanna hit up another Ross, but let me, we'll probably do a haul portion at the end. I wanna give you the tips because I have a meeting, so I have to get moving. And I want to go to another one, so I'll probably include that in one video. And I want to send my mom to the Ross near her house. Because the Ross that she lives near has, like, designer, designer stuff. Like this one did. First of all, it's very competitive. Women are, like, running around. I'm not kidding when I say women. It's all women. Like, running around. Like, this is that show. Um, what is it? Like with the couponing show or something I don't know they're running around in there and I'm like girl you can have it I'm not about to be running around bumping into you people were like pushing each other I, if I got it on footage I'll show you it's very competitive and you can tell some of those women have been in there since the store opened at like 9 a.m. I have never seen one person purchase three carts of items from Ross in my entire life this lady I didn't want to film her because I didn't want to be rude. She was really nice, but she literally pulled up to check out with three full carts. She, the line was, I waited in line for 40 minutes to check out. To be honest with you guys, I almost walked out because I was like, is this stuff really worth it? I have things to do. I don't want to be waiting here that long, but I'm glad I did because I did get some stuff. But I think tip number one, if you shop this sale, you should, I think to get the best stuff, you probably have to come when the store opens. Or really earlier in the day I did find a couple things from people that put stuff back so that's a way to find stuff too and I do think you really have to hit up multiple stores because these there's like one of the women I heard her talking she's like a professional couponer that's what she does for a living she's a couponer and a reseller so she uses coupons and sales and discounts like this and then she resells it and she makes, she was telling people, I make a lot of money doing it. And that was the woman with three carts of stuff. So just keep in mind, you're going, you're shopping with people like that. So I don't know. I feel like if you don't get there earlier in the day, you may not get the best stuff, but there's still stuff to get. A lot of people put stuff back. It's very competitive. Tons of people. Um, I started out in the women's shoe section and I found absolutely nothing, but I saw a lot of the women in their carts with a bunch of shoes. So I'm guessing they just got there super early and like cleaned it out. I did find a pair of men's shoes that I'll show you that I got for $1.99, which is really good. And they're new with the original tags. Um, 
I went through the women's dresses section. I also found some good stuff there, which I'll show. I'm going to show it to you in this video. I just want to wait in case I go to another Ross and I'll combine them. Um, women's dresses. I there There is, oh my gosh, the professional couponer lady is parked right next to me and she's looking at me. And she, of course she has a Suburban. She needs a Suburban to freaking take out her three carts worth of stuff. I really wanted to stick around to see her total, you guys. I'm trying not I'm trying not to look obvious that I'm talking about her and I'm making it very obvious because I'm going like this. Anyways, um, there's clearance stuff everywhere. Mo My phone cut me off. Most of the stuff that's marked down uh, $2 and below is in the clearance section. But if you search the store, I found a couple things that weren't in the clearance section that were really good, like some dresses that I'll show you. Uh, but that's where the majority of the stuff is. And I noticed that the majority of the stuff, at least at this Ross that's on clearance, is like Ross branded stuff that I wouldn't buy personally to wear or to resell. So I passed on a lot of that. But there were some like name brand things that I knew that you could pick up. A lot of the sportswear like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour that was on sale, all the women that got there super early cleaned it out because I saw it in their cart so I didn't see any of that on sale maybe at the second location I will and I also noticed a tip I think go in like a group or pairs or something this one woman had five of her kids checking all the sections she had her son because I was near her she told her son go check the dresses she had her daughter go to the shoes so I think even if you could just come like with another person and kind of divide and conquer that'd probably be really good and I thought about that that's what made me think I should send my mom to Ross near her house because that Ross is amazing so I'm gonna have my mom check out another store for me if I can get her to film I'll include that too but yeah definitely go in a group if you can or at least two three people and you can kind of like hit up stuff because people are moving fast you guys like these women are literally I'm looking at them right now walking out with like trunk loads of stuff so all right I'll include the haul portion a little later let's see if we can find another store I gotta go do some work the nanny's leaving hang out with Zane cook dinner go to the gym the life of a reseller and then maybe after I go to the gym I'll hit up another Ross but this isn't the end of the video stick around oh the most important thing they had freaking Gucci in there on sale Gucci Saint Laurent Louis Vuitton, Givenchy. I was like shocked. Yes, it was a little expensive. Like, what was it? The Gucci I showed you? One of the sunglasses was like 400. Oh, no, no. It was a Versace watch for 400 and something dollars. But that was half off. I looked up that watch. I considered buying it, you guys. That watch, I think right now, is, is selling new for like 1200 I might go back and get that. I kind of want to see if they mark it down. I asked the employee and she said that they might mark it down again. Uh, the Saint Laurent glasses I almost bought for myself. Those were $89. I don't think I've ever seen brands like that at Ross. Have you guys? The only Ross I've seen that at, I'm not going to tell you where it is. It's the one I'm sending my mom to. <laughs> That's the only Ross, but that's a very, like I said, lots of people, very affluent area. But I've never, other than that Ross, my entire life seen brands like that. Like Versace, Gucci, Saint Laurent. I am in a really nice area, but when did Ross start having brands like that? And when did they start marking them? I mean, $4.25, is, of course, is really expensive. But for that watch, that was a really good price. For those glasses, that I just was shocked. Definitely check out the jewelry and sunglass section. I think this sale, this is the biggest tip I should have mentioned in the beginning. I think this sale is great if you're shopping for yourself. Um, especially if you like a lot of the Ross branded clothing. Or even if you don't. Even if you just like shopping at Ross and you get a lot of stuff for yourself there. Which I do occasionally. I get a lot of my work stuff from there if I don't buy it thrifted. You got to check this sale out. They have some great um, and Klein jewelry on sale for like five dollars four dollars three dollars It's definitely worth checking out. Um, I skip this sale quite a bit just because I always feel like oh There's nothing there for me to resell worth value, but there really is I do think though Like I said biggest thing you got to get there early. I recommend bringing a couple people. Let's hit up another store It's gonna be many hours later for me, but for you. It's gonna be a second. Okay, friends you can tell <laughs> 
it's dark outside it's many hours later we are going to hit up stop number two it's like 7 30 right now um this location's open till 11 p.m i just look at looked it up on google maps and i was like what so yeah does your ross stay open that late let's see what goodies we can find i don't want to be in here too long because i actually want to go to the gym after this I, you guys, you guys always comment like, Nikki, how do you do it all? Nikki, you have so much energy. And I'm like, Are, you guys, I don't know. I really don't. But then when I'm filming these videos, I'm like, girl, you actually do a lot in a day. Quick side note. One of you were super sweet and you commented. I can't remember your name. I posted it on my Instagram stories, but I didn't show who the person was. And she basically said, you know, like, you inspire me. You get so much done in a day. I wish I could be like you. I wish I had that amount of energy. I have to take naps. And I was like, girl, I take a nap almost every day of the week. At least a 30-minute nap. But then I went even deeper, and I thought about it. I didn't respond to this, but I posted it on my Instagram. Because I get a lot of comments like that. Like, wow, Nikki, how do you do it all? You're so inspiring. I wish I could have more energy like you. You guys... I always tell you, I keep it very honest with you here. I have a lot of help. A lot of help. I have paid help. I have non-paid help, aka family. Uh, I have paid childcare during the week. I have a boyfriend that is basically a 50-50 parent with me. Like Everything that I do as a mom, he does as a dad. He does dirty diapers. He does bath times. Like we share parenting 50, 50, which makes it super easy for me to be able to do all the stuff I do. All of the grandparents, all four of our grandparents will literally watch Zane anytime we ask them, except for my dad. He lives out of state. The other three grandparents all live within an hour of us. And every single time we ask them, they watch Zane. Most of the time we don't have to ask them. They just say, can I hang out with Zane? Can I come over and can we take Zane? And we're like, sure. So we have a lot of help with Zane and I have paid cleaning help that comes to the house and cleans the house. Like I can't do all this stuff without the amount of help that I have. So I just felt like I should be very candid about that because I know that we we're human right so we compare ourselves to other people but just remember you guys you don't know how much help they have you don't know what they've got going on like I might look like superwoman to you guys but I have a lot of people helping me I have a virtual assistant now that does my listing for me I have an assistant that helps me with my real estate business I have an executive assistant that helps me at my full-time healthcare job like I just have a lot of assistance and I don't want to mislead you guys and let you think that I'm like a one woman show. I am kind of, you know, like I have my own real estate business and I do the majority of my reselling work as you guys see, but I also have a lot of people that help me. You know what I mean? So I'm a one woman show, but I'm kind of not, you know, because we have grandparents that help us. We have a paid nanny. We have cleaning help. And I'm not saying that to brag, but I just I've been wanting to mention this to you guys because the more new people we get, the more comments I get like, oh my God, you source all day and you have a full-time job. Like, how do you do it? I literally do it because I have a lot of help. The nanny left. I went home. I hung out with Zane for a couple hours. My boyfriend came home. We all had dinner together. We put Zane to bed together and now it's 7.30 and I'm out sourcing. I'm going to hit the gym and I can only do that because I have so much help and my boyfriend's awesome. And we ha we're able to pay for the help. So just being totally honest, girlfriend. Don't think I do it all alone because I don't. It takes a village. All right, let's do this. This was long. This video is going to be long. Let's go. All right, you guys. I'm going to show you what I picked up earlier. But I just realized I probably should have shown you this. Let me turn my car off. Oh, my gosh. My mom always calls when I start to film. I'll call you back, Mom. She watches these videos, so she's probably like, I saw you ignore me. Uh, I'm going to call you back. Um, I should have shown you this stuff in the daytime. <laughs> Let's quickly go through it. I didn't know my music can play while I'm filming. I was listening to some classical music. Hold on, friends. 
That was very strange. I didn't know that you could be filming a video on your phone and the music still play on your Bluetooth through your phone. Um, this was 49 cents. This is all from the store earlier. I didn't get anything in that store. It was a mess. You can tell that somebody just ran through all of those aisles and got everything that was 49 cents. Um, because like almost all of the clearance section was basically empty. It just had like crappy stuff. When I say crappy, I mean stuff that looks like it's literally falling apart. Um, I found a couple, a couple things for 99 cents, 199, but it's stuff that I wouldn't even pick up if it was free. So you can tell that somebody or many people have been through there, but <laughs> I did get some tips from an employee. Sorry, being in these dusty stores. She did tell me that um, when they mark stuff down continuously, I didn't ask if that's just this store or all Ross's, but she told me that tonight they're going to be marking more stuff at 49 cents, 99 cents, 199. So maybe keep checking your Ross's. I'm pretty sure I'm tapping out after this just because I feel like what I mentioned before is really important and the employee even told me you kind of have to be there like basically when they open to get the best stuff because she said when they opened, I think she said they open at nine, they had a line across the store, like the entrance of the store and people by like 12 p.m., 11, 11 a.m., 12 p.m. had carts and carts of stuff. So she's like, you're really getting like the crappiest of the crappiest. So if you're going to shop this sale and you really want to make it beneficial and, you know, get the most bang for your buck, especially if you're a reseller, which I'm assuming you are, or if you're just shopping for yourself, I think you should get there early. I cannot do that because I have a full-time job, but just a tip for me to you. All right. 99 cents. I don't even know this brand, you guys. Reflex. I just got this for myself. It's just a cute, like, it's a like a terry cloth kind of material um white short sleeve shirt this was marked at 99 cents this is the brand is milk and honey which i think isn't that just like a ross brand i just thought that this was really cute it's a size large uh yeah i'm going to have to resell this because i can't fit it um but yeah, I've never heard of the brand. Didn't have time to look it up because like I told you, it was really competitive. This, I'm definitely reselling. This is Ralph Lauren. Um, it's a dress and I paid $1.99. It is a size zero. I don't know if I'm going to send this to thread up. I thought this was cute for spring. I don't understand the sparkles with the flowers, but you know what? Someone will rock this and look cute in the spring or summer. This retailed for $185, um, and I paid $199 for it. I will take that. I was pretty excited to find this. Just getting these two dresses and the shoes I'm going to show you, I felt like it was worth coming out. I don't think I'm going to come out tomorrow or in the future specifically just for this sale. I might shop it the next time it happens. If you guys know, does this happen biannually, a couple times a year annually? Let me know. I don't know. 99 cents for these jeans, Tinseltown, which isn't that just a Ross brand? I don't know. I've only ever seen this at Ross. Let's look it up. Oh, I can't. I'm filming on my phone because maybe I've seen it at Nordstrom. I don't know. It's not a brand I pick up. I literally got it because it's new with tags and it was 99 cents. Ashley Madison jeans, uh, size five. These were 199 size five these must be like a oh wow I didn't notice it has the cutout on the hip that is hilarious I'm thinking these might be a junior um this was 49 cents I think this was one of the few things I got that was 49 cents again the brand milk and honey says large I might just lock this up with the other crop top I thought this was adorable and sell them together these are NBA sweatpants. How much should I pay for these? 49 cents. Oh, I got two things for 49 cents. Um, size small, just some men's navy blue sweatpants. You guys, some of this stuff, I'm like, why did I get... Uh, Barney Cools shorts. I think these are swim trunks. I thought that these, I love the color and the pattern. 
These were $149, new with tags. Some more Tinseltown jeans. These were $199. These are size $527. Oh boy, I'm laughing because some of this I'm like, did you really mean to buy that? Jones, New York, I'm sending this to thread up. This was 49 cents and it does have the Jones, New York tag. It's a really cute blue and black dress and it's a great size, size 10. It's like color blocked. So those two dresses, I feel like were worth me coming out. Oh, there's more. Who makes these jeans? Warp Weft? Warp Weft. Here's the brand. I paid, these retail for 98 and I paid, where's the tag? Did she take the Ross tag off? I paid, I'm pretty sure these were 99 cents, but I don't know what happened to the Ross tag. It must have fallen off. And then I got these uh original penguin men's shoes brand new size 13 and how much should i pay for these 149 so i'm most excited about you guys these shoes i can probably get like 30 to 40 bucks for these the shoes and the two dresses alone are gonna make all first of all i told you all of this was what 16 bucks but the two dresses and the shoes are going to put me in the profit. So that's pretty cool. And then whatever else I sell the rest of this stuff for, I sell it for. And I'm just happy about it. I wish I could have gotten more stuff. But like I told you, I didn't get there until like 2, 3 o'clock. Um, I might go to one more store like within the next couple days. I'm just not going to go out of my way. You know what I mean? Like if I see a Ross while I'm out. I might stop at one, but I felt like that was worth it. I wish I would have found some stuff at the second store, but it's, you know, 7.30 p.m. It's the end of the evening, and they've been cleared out. The employee even told me herself. Um, so, yeah, that's it, friends. Uh, I would shop this again when they do it if I could be, like, one of the first people in the store and I could hit up a bunch of Rosses, like, early in the day. Otherwise, I don't know if you're, I don't know. I just, like I said, I wouldn't go out of my way to do it, but who knows? I might try once more, try once more and see what happens. So hopefully you enjoyed, found this helpful or entertaining. Let me know down below if you like when I shop these sales, I can keep doing it. I'm going to the gym. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have watched this far and just watched me do all this silly stuff and get on my little rants, you have to subscribe, friends. YouTube tells me that like 50% of you watch the entire video and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? It's free. I'm here for you. I am your pal. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Ciao.